No faffing about. No dilly dallying anymore. Sorry if you heard that. Blink. <laughs> Wake up. Mm. Oh, don't you dare do that when we've just started. Out of words. Hey, Bob. <laughs> We're just starting. No, sp no spoilers, please. <laughs> Roast marshmallow. Yes, please. L shift. Get that nice and toasty for me. Oh, he didn't like that. What was that about? Why doesn't he like it? Why is he going? What? Maybe I put it up the top like this. I toast it up here. Oh no! Ready? Oh my god, he hates it. <laughs> he doesn't like it. Okay. Can I talk to you? Slate. Oh my god, it's an alien! Why did I not know what this game was about? You're burning them. Chat, if any of you spoil on three. Exactly. Please don't spoil it. <laughs> don't put any spoilers in chat. Please, please, please. <laughs> Everyone dies. I, why? I didn't even know. I thought oh, this was about me being lost. I had no idea this was about aliens. There's our pilot. Back from your pre-launch camp out under the stars, I see. So it's launch day, eh? Is the volume okay, by the way? Let me know. Seems like only yesterday you joined the space program and suddenly you're here, leaving on your first solo voyage. What do you say? Ready to get this beauty off the ground? It's all fueled up and ready to go. I'm ready if you are. Are you kidding? Of course I'm ready. It's finally time to test the new landing hydraulics with a pilot instead of the auto flight system. Speaking of pilots, make sure you don't crash ship. The first time you put it down, you hear? <gasps> I wish it was voiced. Yeah, that's... Yeah, that would be nice. Also, the scary part is exclusive. Oh, okay. Okay. Game volume is fine, could be a little higher. Okay, uh, the sound is gonna disappear for a second while I turn it up. <laughs> okay, Evie, can you do voices for these characters? Sure. Speaking of. <laughs> Wait, maybe I should move chat to the top of the screen too. Um, sorry, technical difficulties, but I feel like it's in the way of the dialogue, isn't it? Let's go up here. No! <laughs> I'm not going to do any voices. What about my Scottish? Speaking of pilots, make sure you don't crash the ship the first time you put it down. <laughs> okay, I'll never do that again. <laughs> anyway. You'll need to get the launch codes from Hornfells at the observatory before you can lift off. Just bring those here. Scottish. Yes. <laughs> I tried, okay? Just bring those here once you said your goodbyes or whatever. Oh, who do I need to say goodbye to? What did I need to do? Wait, I've forgotten. <laughs> Where are they? Hornfells has the launch codes up at the observatory. Okay. Don't mind me, guys. Just immediately forgetting what I'm told to do. Oh, it is a little bit motiony. I see what um, you meant. It's a tiny bit, like, quick on the um, camera movements. Oh, who are you? Hey, it's you. Slate said you're blasting off in your ship today. I'm really excited to see the launch. Aren't you going to go into space? Aren't you? You better not have changed your mind. I'm still going. You better be. It's been forever since anyone launched into space. I really, really want to see it. Push him off the edge. No. <laughs> really bad. Just give him a quick shove. You want to try out my model ship? Slate says it's just like the real thing, and you're less likely to start a fire. Okay, Mika. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wait. 
I'm just exploring my buttons. Don't worry about it. Okay, I did the exact same thing again. Down, up, thrust. Okay. Oh, whoops. Oops. I see. I see. I'm getting there. Don't worry, guys. It's a delicate process. <laughs> okay. Oh. Oh. <laughs> She's off. <laughs> Don't worry about her. Don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> We're all good. Oh. It's okay. How do we think I'm doing? One more try. One more try. I I got on the platform. Does that not matter? <laughs> Hit and run. I think that's good enough, no? <laughs> <laughs> A bit better than me. Okay. Good. Up. <gasps> oh, that was a good run, no? Ooh, some soup. Porphy. Hey, hatchling. I hear you're leading us to seek adventures among the stars. Oh, what is that noise? When you return, let's you, me, and Gosson open up a bottle of the good stuff. I'm only seeking adventure amongst this one star. Um, actually. <laughs> Stars are too far away. The good stuff is less delicious that wine and more daunting digestive challenge. Jeez, why am I so sassy? Another metaphor ruined in the name of scientific accuracy. Nevertheless, I hope you do enjoy your travels. Oh, it's the geezer behind me, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> We're actually blasting off in that thing, huh? They really don't explode as often anymore. Let's do that, Mum. All I know is between the space program and Mika's model kit rockets, things seem to be things seem to burn to the ground around here more than they used to. Ooh. Awkward. That geezer is so loud. What are these little cameras? This projector is linked to our sky shutter satellite. Which is currently orbiting Timber Her. Satellite is equipped with two onboard cameras. See if you can take a snapshot of your village. Oh! Ooh! Okay. Are we in here? Oh my god, Slay! There's the observatory, guys. Marl. It's launch day, huh? Hal's going to miss you. Speaking of launch day, I was thinking about it. And the platform those ships launch from is getting old. Isn't it about time you built a new, a less flammable one? I'm trying. That big tree in the village would be perfect choice. I wouldn't mind helping with the space travel. I'd just say the word. Nice try. We know you have it out for that tree. What's wrong with the tree? I just think it's the in the way and someone ought to chop it down. You know, specifically, me. You think this has to do with the time I fell out of it and broke my arm? That was when we were hatchlings. Who would hold a grudge for that long? You, Marl. You would. Hello there, space cadet. I hear you're leaving the crater today. If you have any other, if you, oh, why can't I read? <laughs> if you meet any other travellers up there, mind them to take proper care of their instruments. Okay. I made all of their instruments: Chert's drums, Rybeck's banjo, and Gabro's flute. Feldspar's harmonica, of course. Feldspar's been missing for a long time. Sometimes it feels like just yesterday they were playing the harmonica around the campfire. You hear music in space. That'll be one of the space programs are the travellers. If you feel like company, you can always pull out your signal scope and track them down. Interesting. Oh, I'm stuck. <laughs> Observatory this way. Hi guys. Ooh, little cowboy hat. That isn't my favourite troublemaker. We wanted to play hand and seek, but Moraine won't let us borrow the signal scope because it was really delicate and not supposed to be thrown around like that. 
Can we use your signal scope? Okay, wait, let's play. Galena and me will hide with the radios and you use your signal scope to find us. Last one to be found wins. Oh, okay. I'll try. <laughs> Why? Oh. Oh. Where'd they go? Oh, there. Can I, like, shoot it at them? I see you. <laughs> I see you. Can I jump? Oh! Whoops. How do I get back up? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Let me up. <laughs> Let me up! Okay, there we go. <laughs> Just took a bit of trial and error, guys. It's okay. Wait. How far down did I fall? Am I going the wrong way? Oh, it's back this way. <laughs> I got confused. Back over here. You're over there. Okay. Anyway, let's try again. Maybe I descend from above, you know? There's no fall damage in this, right? Ah! Oh no. Oh, Christ. What did I do? <laughs> Oh no! Don't shoot the kids. I'm just having a bit of fun, okay? This definitely is the hardest part of the game, my god. <laughs> I'm going the wrong way again, aren't I? Oh! Why is it buzzing to me at that? What's there? Do I need to get up the house? Oh! I think it just does it randomly. <laughs> I think it might just be a, a random sort of vibe. Am I doing this wrong? <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. Ready? What? Okay, we did it. That, oh my god, so loud. Yeah, Christ. Uh, get me away from that. <laughs> okay. Jesus. Okay. Somewhere up on that house. Oh wait, maybe I can jump on the roof from up there. <laughs> now shoot him. This isn't a gun. <laughs> we're not. We're not in Rainbow Six. I see you. Oh, I won. I'm happy. Thanks for playing with us. Okay. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> You're good. Trick shot. <laughs> 360 no scope. That's what they want you to think. Oh no. Okay, wait, did I talk to this man? No. Fishing rhyme, fishing rhyme, singing helps me pass the time. You're leaving the crater. Guess we'll all be a Oh, that's no longer a rhyme. <laughs> it's not a rhyme anymore. Guess we'll all be a little busier without you to lend a hand. That big water planet giant steep, that's where I'd go. Why? One time, after the rest of the village had left to sleep, and it was just the two of us sitting around the campfire, Gabra told me about their first trip to the Giant's Deep. They landed their ship easily enough in the waves, but couldn't see too far down, on account of how murky the water was, too dark. Gabra wanted to see what lay beneath the surface, they decided to travel deeper. They travelled down and down. But suddenly, Gabra couldn't go any further. Tell me more. I will. I was just pausing dramatically. As though exercising a will of its own, the water was refusing to let Gabbro go any deeper. It held Gabbro back, almost as if it were trying to protect them from something. And then, in the ter dark terrible darkness, Gabbro saw it. The tentacle of some hideous beast. Ah! 
I mean, that's what Gabbro said. Anyway, whatever it was, it freaked Gabbro out pretty good. Everyone wants to hear stories at the village campfire, you know? Make sure you bring some back with you. I will, don't you worry. I'm gonna bring tea for the ages. Fishing time, fishing time, singing helps me ignore all your crimes. <laughs> that's so loud, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, that's so noisy. There we go. And that honestly was blasting my eardrums. It's not too loud for us. Okay, good. My eardrums are getting were getting pelted. Observatory? What's this? Who are you? Hi, astronaut. You know the patch of ghost matter inside this fence? Ghost matter? Goston said it used to be bigger when we were hatchlings. It just takes super long time to go away. Throw a rock at them. I hope there's still ghost matter in the village when I'm a grown-up. You're not a grown-up. You look like an old man to me. Sorry. You shouldn't be throwing rocks in there. You know ghost matter is how tech tight lost their foot, right? Hmm. Okay. I had touching it hurts so bad it feels like your whole hand's on fire. Trying to walk in any space. That sounds painful. Okay, don't step on the green things. I'm just I've just stepped in it. Oh what's that? I'm just popped. Inside this fence is a pocket of ghost matter, a strange and dangerous subject. Sub blood man. <laughs> a strange and dangerous substance that's invisible to the naked eye. The good news is that you can detect ghost matter with a camera. I can see it right now. It's farting at me. Is that not what it is? Moving through ghost matter is uniquely painful. Oh my god, that was a big meteor in the background. And will probably kill you. Don't complain to me if it hurts yourself falling around. Okay, but... Is that not it? Like, having a fart right now. I'm confused. It's just the green stuff, and that's just it going, Look! I'm here! Okay. I see. Don't go in the farts. Got it. Zero G cave. What's this little note? Come say hi to your old flight coach before you launch. Oh, Gosson's in here! New sound just dropped. Oh, what? What did I say? Maybe did spooky for No, I didn't! <laughs> I thought I might see you before the big launch. Nerves getting the better of you? Right, like you weren't nervous for your first flight. Don't worry about it, your nerves are between you, me, and the vast endlessness of space. Oh, that's fun. But, I hope, but really, I'm just reading the next line immediately, but really you'll do fine out there. I'd worry more about that ship if I were you. Hopefully that lunatic slate at least fixed the retro rockets. Listen, there's a satellite, which is definitely not just a piece of broken mining equipment set up down in zero-g cave in need of repairs. If you're looking for a last-minute zero-g practice, head down the lift and into the cave or don't. One repaired satellite coming up. Get to it. Try not to concuss yourself right before your first launch. I'll try. <laughs> Why did you just... Why would you just fall? <laughs> How would you do that? That wasn't me, and that wasn't the ghost. <laughs> Spooky noise. <laughs> Ooh, so scary. Okay. This is cute, little sparkles. Spooky. <laughs> Suit up. Ooh. Oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. Why did that scare me? I should know. I'm hitting the Windows button instead of the <laughs> control button. <laughs> that did genuinely get me that time. Okay. Zero out of three repaired. I was supposed to be repairing something? I wasn't listening. I was supposed to be going for that thing, right? Velocity matched. Okay, and now I go over to it. Oh! 
Oh, ow. Sorry. Oh, stop. Oh, I flew away. Who did that? Diabetes, of course. <laughs> okay, next one. That one there. Oh, 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 I'm going too high. Go back down. Oh, lock on. Give me over there. Give me over there. Okay, easy. Oops. Where's the last one? Oh, God. Where is it? I hear... Oh, sorry. I hear it. I hear you. Is that it there? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Where is it? Oh, is it in it? It's in it, isn't it? Oh, God. I think I'm doing a cracking job, guys. I'm not going to lie. Sorry to who the walls, yeah. <laughs> Cut back to yeah, the the fly and the ship we won't talk about. Now what? How do I leave? Oh how do I get out? Where's the hole? Oh, over there. I'm off. Okay, no problemo for me. Oh. Oh, never mind. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I apologise. Why am I apologising to Jack? What have I done? There we go. Look. Oh, class. Who the hell is this? Nice of you to drop down. Give me the dirt. Some fresh dirt. Oh, yeah, come on, give me it. Tech tights or something crash outside the village quite earlier. Ooh. Okay. They went on firewatch with the old scout launcher and saw smoke, so they went to check it out. Safety first, right? I'm kidding. I said that as a tech tight once. Pretty rude how long they laugh for us, if you ask me. Natural. Thank you. I was... Absolutely class at that. I can't remember how to get out. It's this way, right? Oh, I was just, I just was born for this. <laughs> I mean, that was some good tea. Something crashing, link. crashing down, crash landing is what I wanted to say. No spooky farts that time. Did it. Nicely done. Of course it'll be a little more stressful when you're hurtling through space. Oh no. But just remember your training and try not to hit anything big. I, I hit quite a bit. I can see you're itching to get off this rock, so go get that launch codes from the observatory. And get out of here. Best of luck out there. And try to avoid getting yourself killed now that I've put so much time... Oh, what? I'm not going to die. Okay. Blimey. What's up there? I'm gonna look up here first. What's this? I saw smoke coming from Young Bark Crater. Probably not, maybe, possibly. Oh no. <laughs> I figured I should go check it out. You can use the scout launcher, just don't break it while I'm gone. Okay. I want. I just do? Oh, it's taking pics for me. Oh my god, it's going so far. I don't need to read, guys. I'm too cool. Actually, no. Reading is cool. Reading is cool, guys. Don't listen to me. 
One bit from Gomp to jump off the edge of the cliff, I'm guessing. <laughs> it's not happening. Giza Mountains, write that down, write that down. Um, hello? Oh no, um, hmm, okay, that's a bit nicer. This is good weather for your launch, right? That's lucky. What are you doing? No. <laughs> and it's not going to cost two bits. I <laughs> Come on, I'm not jumping off the edge. <laughs> I'm using my signal scope to pick up sounds from distant planets. It's set to the Outer Wilds Ventures frequency so I can pick up the Traveller's music. Last night I heard Rybeck's banjo from Bishel Hollow. I hope that means they're safe. I mean, if they're playing the banjo. Surely, right? You wouldn't just play the banjo for giggles. I can hear different planets too. It depends on what time of day or night it is. Since different planets are in the sky at different times. You drive a hard bargain. Three bits. I jumped. <laughs> I, even, I even did a second one for you. <laughs> I regularly play the mando when I'm being sort of like, oh, prove me wrong then. Prove me wrong. Where was he looking over here? Oh! <gasps> He's whistling. Oh, it drifted. Who's doing that? Oh. Oh. Any other planets I can see? Just the big... Oh! Oh! <laughs> well, Gomp, I fell. <laughs> <laughs> you got what you... <laughs> you got what you wanted. <laughs> How did I fall off? <laughs> How did I fall off the edge? <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> I slipped. I was looking at the sky. <laughs> God damn it. Oh. <laughs> damn. <laughs> Again. No. No. <laughs> no. Jumping. I've got to get to the heart of this serious story. Just jump to the planets, SMH. Yeah, what am I doing? Get my moon boots on. Okay. I've been up there. How did I fall off of that? Was that where I was? I oh, know I was over here. How did I fall off? Did I accidentally walk onto the bridge? What happened? Oh, we're all barriered in. What did I do? <laughs> Five bits to make a jump. <laughs> There's the ghost farts. We met them already. Talented. Thank you. Thank you. I just pure talent. <laughs> Causing me near death experiences. I want to go in places. Let me in. Let me. Let me in. What's that bus driver video? <laughs> Where's she going? Ooh. Do you know what I'm talking about? Or do I just sound like I'm nutter? <laughs> That's me at the doors. <laughs> Sorry. That's probably not actually funny. Um, she probably has issues, right? Um, so I apologise for doing that. It's just a silly video of this old lady like trying to get on a bus. And she's just like making that noise. But now I feel bad <laughs> for doing that. I'm just... <laughs> Out of our adventures, founding me. I'm really sorry I did that. <laughs> it's just a woman singing at the bus driver. This is the one we're sending into space. Yeah, about that. Sorry, guys. <laughs> founding members. Hornfell's Gosson. Oh, Slate. Slate and Feldspar. Nice, guys. Congrats. You're the OGs. What's this one? First and only space program founded to explore the farthest reaches of our solar system. Just to get rid of her. <laughs> yeah, they want me far away. <laughs> that spells that. Herth first Herthian to be internationally launched into space. They completed the first orbit around Timber Hearth and later made the first of what would be many landings on our moon, the Atoll Rock. 
Okay. Ooh, hello. You look very stoic. It's my favourite astronaut. Launch day at last, huh, buddy? It's a translated tool. It's the translated tool's inaugural flight, too. I'm excited. It's making me nervous. Just think you'll be able to translate any no-made no text you want anywhere you are. The two of us put a lot of hours into inventing that tool, so don't break it. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Woo! I love it. Break it. I will not. Ignore me. I'm just nervous. I'm not even the one going into space. How are you feeling? I'm excited. You've only been waiting for this day since we were hatchlings. I can't wait to see all your training pay off. Thank you. Throw it. <laughs> so what's the dirt? You see the new Nomai statue? New statue? You haven't heard? Gabbro brought it back with them from Giant's Deep. And Hornfell's just finished prepping it for display. This is it right here. Oh yeah, I took a peek already, guys. Makes me wish we could see what a real life Nomai looks like. But I guess this is as close as we'll ever get. Check it out. Looks like they had fur. Fur is weird. This is the first fully intact statue ever found, you know. And for how old it is, it's in great shape. Oh, oh, jeez. Oh, oh, jeez. I get a little carried away there. Go on, you have a ship to launch. Take care of yourself out there, you hear? Giant's deep. I don't know what that means. Let's go. Okay. Yeah, he's a little, like, furry sheep kind of man. He looks like maybe he's from Tears of the Kingdom. This remarkably intact statue was carved by the Nomai. An ancient species who dwelled in our solar system thousands of years ago. Info dumping. <laughs> the statue provides us with our most de detailed look yet at the Nomai, who appeared to have been covered with a layer of fur. He just told me that. Note the jewellery. He's blinged out. <laughs> Guys, he's blinged out. Although their artifacts and structures have been found on almost every planet, we still have no idea where this species came from. Okay. Well, we know they got drip. And that's what matters. We know he's dressed to the nines, and he got that... He got that posture. That posture's in. That's what he sounds like. <laughs> that neck is strained. My God. He is absolutely looks maxing right now. He's mewing. He's mewing. Look. Whoa. This is... He's been on TikTok for sure. He's getting subliminal looks maxing. Get that mew in. Get that posture straight back. Incredibly long neck. Oh, prime specimen. Prime. <laughs> Ooh, cute. Ooh, what was that? Ooh, ooh. What is this? Why is it here and why does it only appear when I do this? Okay. That's why he's the GOAT! <laughs> this piece of no writing was essential to deciphering their unique language. Though the text is linear, no my text branches off from a central point. Interestingly, each branch tends to be written by a different author. Poof, it's all over the place then, eh? Oh, a bit too close. Got a little too close. Why does it just go away? Oh! Oh! I saw a word. We're nearly ready. Felix and I have finished construction and she says calibrating the device won't take long. Oh, oh, and another bit. Fortunately, the Atoll Rock's lack of atmosphere will make calibration simple. After all this time, I'm thrilled to finally resume our search. Slay. No more? Okay. Interesting. I don't understand. It was just appearing as I looked at the crack. So I was just looking at the crack. So <laughs> it was only popping up when my cursor was over the crack. How was I supposed to know? I thought it was a crack scanner. <laughs> Scanning for cracks. Aside from the dwellings and structures they built, the Nomai also made art. This decorated pottery was discovered on Brittle Hollow. Some of my art 
depict strange animals, foreign celestial objects, and other subjects that can be found in our solar system. It's a crack detector, okay? <laughs> Which makes us wonder whether it's, it's a plumber specialist. <laughs> I thought this world wasn't standing out to me. Okay, I was looking at that magical sun and nothing was appearing. So I thought, well, if the magical sun isn't giving me anything, why would the swirl? <laughs> it was rational. <laughs> it was rational. <laughs> Were the Nomai born in our solar system? Were they born among stars and planets? I think they're just goats, maybe, with sick fits. These are just some of the questions we hope to answer through further... Xeno archaeological expeditions. I'm sorry, but if I look at this, this looks magical and like something should appear. And yet nothing did. <laughs> and yet when I look at the crack, <gasps> the crack makes the thing appear. Why isn't this show me anything, huh? <laughs> oh, oh my god, it's a dead one, no? What you see here are parts of no my skeletons. You can tell from their skulls they possessed antlers and only three eyes. The nomad body was most likely adapted from for living exclusively on land. The difference in the nomad's anatomy, such as their shockingly fragile bone structure, show that Herthians could have descended from no nomayan ancestors. It's not clear whether puzzle whether. Why do I read words from the other sentences? It's not clear where the Nomai originated from or why they disappeared. We hope to find more clues to this puzzle as we explore our solar system. God, only three? What a loser. <laughs> <laughs> He's alive and well. The Nomai technology brought back from space by our astronauts has been great has been a great boon to Outer Wilds Ventures, allowing us to modify expedition gear in exciting and useful ways. For example, the little scout now boasts a warp retrieval capability that allows astronauts to recall their scouts almost instantly. This has dramatically reduced the number of scouts lost to the depths of space. Eepy. I'm eepy. I'm feeling pretty eepy. What's this? This crystal was taken from a ruin. Oh, guys, you've got to put that back. I feel like that's a bad omen. This came from a ruin. I wouldn't be touching that. It seems to create a local gravity distortion and was most likely used to traverse steep surfaces. Try it out. I feel like I'm going to get voodoo cursed. Oh, wee! I'm on the walls. Oh, that is quite fun. Jump. Oh, trick shot. Call me Tony Hawk. Wee! Woo! <laughs> Sick landing. <laughs> POV English Museums. No, ah, get me off this now. I want off the ride. <laughs> Let me down. <laughs> Ooh, an anglerfish. This anglerfish specimen found attached to the landing gear of one of our ships that flew close to Dark Bramble. Tony Hawk and Shambles steal it for you and gravity views. Yoink! Mine now! <laughs> it appears well suited to living in dark spaces with a mineral atmosphere. That's just a normal angler fish, no? Nothing special about him. Ooh. Swirl. That's why you're on that planet. To steal the stuff and put it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Guys, I'm just here as a thief. Don't worry about it. If a star is massive enough, it will continue to fuse carbon into heavier elements like iron. Ultimately, the star will collapse under its own gravity and then explode, called a supernova. Based on Chert's observations, this will one day be the fate of our own sun. Oh, sad. Has to happen, though, guys. Has to happen. As a star... Oh, am I doing this in the wrong order? <laughs> I've got them. I've, I've started the wrong way around. <laughs> Oops. Whoopsie. Ooh. What's out here? This strange rock moving around in this grotto appears to react to conscious observation. Level-headed among us realise there must be some sort of optical illusion at play. 
but Gabbro claims the rock exists in all possible states until it's observed. Whatever is actually happening, both sides of the debate agree the effect is creepy. What's it do? Oh, I don't think that was what it does. What do you do, Mr. Rock? Does he, like, jump on the other... Oh! Buh! Buh! <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Woo! 360! 360! Oh. I'm gonna do it really fast, ready? <laughs> Is this entertaining? <laughs> Sorry. I apologize. <laughs> New exhibit! <gasps> The radio tower here on Timber Hearth was built to receive transmissions from our deep space satellite. I think that was a 240 at best. Keep your eye on it. Oh my god, scary. <laughs> it was only a 240, it definitely wasn't 360. I don't have enough mouse space, okay? Okay, I've got too many Sylvanians on my desk. This radio tower here on Timber Hearth was built to receive transmissions from our deep space satellite. And to this day still has us the first ever photos taken of the entire solar system. It's behind you! Where? These photos were made possible by the Deep Space Satellite's unusual vertical orbit that carries it high enough and below the plane and solar system. Thanks to a recent upgrade, the Deep Space Satellite is now responsible for generating the real-time solar system map used by our newest astronauts. That's me, guys! Can you hear it behind you? <laughs> Ooh, marbles. Watch, they move. Oh, the ground is perfectly level. So I do think this, what causes, I don't know, the rock outside probably? The answer is the moon. As it orbits our planet, the outer rock gravity pulls the objects from different directions. In fact, it's pulling on you right now. I know, I can feel it. I can feel it. Your hair bow matches the rock. Oh my god. It does. Wait. <gasps> We're twins. <laughs> it does. We are matching. Wait, let me line it up next to me. It is like basically the same colour. That's kind of cute. No? My new spring fit as well. I've got dungarees on. <laughs> because I couldn't be bothered to draw a whole new outfit, so I just made some grease. <laughs> that rock is coming back to get me. It didn't like me shouting at it, for sure. They put you in the game. Oh my god, guys, thank you so much. You made me a massive rock. <laughs> so exciting. I'm a huge stone. If you jump... Oh, okay, let me go try it out, Bob. <laughs> Let's go see. Ready? Do I need to be in them? Are they coming towards me? Oh! That's me! I think I messed it up. I think I ruined the experiment by getting in there. <laughs> yeah, don't tell them about that. Um, I actually think I might apologise for that one. Sorry. I am um, George. Oh my god. Background George yelling. <laughs> Clip it. No, don't show anybody. Oh. Oh my god. Jesus. <laughs> No, don't expose me. That's that terrified me. That was the scariest thing so far. Um whoosh. anyway. Cool. <laughs> Map. <laughs> we don't need any proof or evidence to be sent to the museum curators, okay? They don't need to know. Hey Hornfells. <laughs> don't let me get kicked out, please. It's my first day. <laughs> it's my first day. <laughs> I just finished pre-flight observations, and local conditions are good. Time to get our newest astronaut off the ground. Oh, I'm gonna go, guys. 
You'll be our first astronaut ever equipped with a Know My Translator tool. I confess, I've been giddy all day just thinking about it. We're better equipped than ever to unravel the mystery of the Know My. You and Hal should be very proud of your work, and so should George in the background, barking. Tell me what's your plan once you're in space. Ooh, what's my plan? I'm, am I going to learn? Am I going to hang out with some guys? I want to go somewhere no one's gone before. I'll start with something small. I don't know. I think I think I want to just go, go and chill with some guys. With the gang. The wooing woman jumped on the exhibit. Get her out of here. You're going to check in with them, are you? Not a bad plan. No one knows the system of the solars. Better than our astronauts. Let's see, Chert is on the Hourglass Twins, Rybeck is on Brittle Hollow, and Gabbro is on Giant's Deep, last I checked. And well, there's Feldsbar, obviously, but he's dead somewhere, so don't worry about that. Feldsbar has been dead for forever. On a more cheerful note, you'll find Esker stationed on Atoll Rock. They're not a traveller, <laughs> so much as a lunar local, but I'm sure they'd appreciate a visit nevertheless. <laughs> well then, that's all that's left. Well then, looks like all that's left is to send you off. All in all, fine day. I'm ready to die in space. That's a bit brutal. Just like Feldspar, apparently. You'll need the launch codes. I will, thank you very much, mate. Here they are. Best get off the round before Slate makes any more modifications to your ship, eh? I want, I want it to be pit my rided. I want a fish tank in the back. I want a mini fridge. Um... <laughs> I've got all sorts in there. It's your first time. It is. Welcome. Hi. It is my first time playing. So I appreciate those spoilers um, because I literally, I know nothing, to be honest. Um, yeah, first time playing. I'm excited though. It it seems very interesting so far. I'm not very good at the controls, but <laughs> we'll get there. Good luck out there. Let me know if I can help you with anything. Thank you. Ooh. Dash, dash, line, dash, dot, dot, line, dash, dot. I remember that. That's that's in the memory banks. Let's go. Oh, wrong way. That's the scary rock. <laughs> Don't want to go in there. Where's the door? Am I stupid? Oh, it's this way. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Hello. He heard me talking about him mewing. Oh. Okay. He just sucked all, all my memories out of me. Did his eyeballs just change? They were stone, no? And now they're golden? Or am I making that up? We need one of these for Joe. A statue, you mean? That's him clapping back. <laughs> tragic, tragic. Interesting. He just sucked all the juice out of me, I think. I've been left as a... <laughs> I'm a sack of beans now or a, I'm like a you know when you go to build a bit Ooh, and they haven't stuffed them yet that's that's my <laughs> that's what I look like <laughs> um I looked at him and he looked right back at me the statue was doing what his eyes opened then you saw images from your own memories and glowing lights flying around you mean like a hallucination no like he sucked the juice out of me just as I explained to everybody else are you sure you're okay to launch? Like, medically? Mmm. I think it's weird. He's mewing and he's got horrible neck posture. So, I'd check him out if I were you. If you're saying it happened, then I guess maybe it did. But why? Because I'm the chosen one? Perhaps? Hornfeld <laughs> tried everything to get the statue's eyes to open. Why would you try to get its eyes to open? It's a statue, no? <laughs> why would you try everything? Nothing like this has ever happened to them. I don't think you're going to get any answers from the museum. But Gabbro said they were going back to Giant Steep. Don't know which island they're on, though. Okay. Maybe they'd be able to tell you more. On the other hand, Gabbro's, you know, Gabbro. So maybe you'd better be off searching for more info on your own. Jeez. Oh, gee wheels. No, <laughs> I'm really jealous you're going into space. See if you can use our translator tool to find out more about the statue, okay? Good luck and safe flying. I wouldn't go back in that room if I were you. He's a bit scary. 
What's this way? Have I been down here? Is this just a different little route? I don't remember this path. Maybe I've just got selective <laughs> memory. <laughs> oh yeah, no, cowboy boy. He's still in a different place though, for sure. Oh, I didn't go up and down here. Ooh. Oh, we looped back around. Okay, I see. The music in this game is wonderful. It is really nice, actually. I really like it so far. I can imagine once I'm in space, it's very atmospheric. Hey. I'm working on fixing the autopilot's avoidance system for this one. Okay. Uh, sorry. Oh, interesting. I guess I just go to the ship then. Let me in. <gasps> oh, it's quite cute. What is that? Making it go dark. What is that? There's like a little thing there. Is that on the moon? What was that? That's the sun. Oh, thanks. <laughs> oh, yeah, I called it the moon. <laughs> no, there's like little things sticking. I was talking about like these little things that are coming off the sides. Oh, I think they're just like heat eruptions, aren't they? Okay, sorry. My bad. The moon. I got confused, okay? <laughs> when I first got this game, I played it for like 10 hours a day. Wow, oh my god. Just for the atmosphere. I had that when I played Firewatch. I just wandered around for ages. I was just w wandering in the woods. Only one way to find out. I'm not I'm going up. Oh, oh. Okay. My stuff. Oh, there's my little seat. Okay. Yeah, Firewatch was very nice, very peaceful. I definitely just. Oh. Giant's Deep, Interloper. It was a very peaceful game. I liked it a lot. Please say a few words. I'm just, I'm just, um, oh, let me offer that. <laughs> just observing some things. Press C on this. Rumor mode. Oh, I get to hear key. What's that? Rumor mode. F4 for power up. Stop it. <laughs> um. How says Gabbro went? Oh, it's everything people have told me. Okay, I see, I see, I see. So it's like when I'm, I don't know what to do. I should go and see what rumors I've heard. I getcha. Oh my god, we're suiting up. Health and fuel. Put the suit back. That's it. That's over here. Oh, that's a cute poster. I bet they sell that in real life. Surely. Okay. Everybody, uh, thank you for believing in me. Uh, despite all the adversity and everyone being scared of me in the village for wooing and jumping on the museum exhibits, um, I'm grateful that you're allowing me to enter into the atmosphere. I think that this could possibly be uh, the be most beautiful day of my life. They do it, it sells out in minutes, really. That's funny. Windows them. Bow to take off. Stop. <laughs> I'm ever grateful uh, for everyone believing in me. And um, with that, <laughs> I have to hit quick game. <laughs> We're going. We're going. What do I do? C, lift off. Oh! Left shift. Okay, let's look at the cockpit. Oh my god, where do I where am I going? Ember twin. No, I want to go to um something deep, right? Oh, ah, I went too far. What's this? The interloper. Oh oh, what have I landed on? Oh, I'm back on my home planet. <laughs> Where are you going? That's for you to decide. Okay. I'm overwhelmed. The Atle Rock. 
I heard something about the Atoll Rock. Right? Or should I just go to the sun? <laughs> Match the velocity, please. This doesn't look too big of a rock. I'll be real. Oh, oh, God, I'm going to crash. Oh, 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 oh. I'm locked on. Okay, we're going in. Oh! Was that nice landing? Was that a good landing, do we think? Oh, giant steeps over there. Okay. Okay, we got this. I'm, I'm getting out. That was a class landing. I don't... Oh. Why not go into the sun? It's so warm and say, Yeah, I want a nice summer holiday. I want to be nice and warm. Your ship is still fine. Yeah, it looks it looked great. I landed that beautifully. I'll take no I'll take no insult on that. Oh Church research notes. Property of Church. This is an old crate. The neat thing here is that the composition of the samples I took from the impact site match the composition of the ice of the outskirts of Dark Bramble. I'd posit that Atoll Rock was hit with a piece of the planet that used to be where Dark Bramble now lies. Maybe there are more fragments of the old planet Dark Bramble destroyed on other astral bodies in the solar system. Interesting. Go get my town exactly. Oh. Okay. Can I have that? No. Oh! What is this? Take me a- Oh! Whoa! Picture! <laughs> what the heck? Let me in. Oh! That's the same thing on that rock in the- in the museum. Oh! Oh. Okay. Can I go down? Does me putting that up there change what's down here? I'm running out of oxygen. Should I be worried about that? <gasps> Ready guys? I was upstairs testing the eye signal locator and it can hear and follow the signals from the sun, giant steep and brittle hollow. However, something strange is happening when I ask the eye signal, signal locator to follow the eye signal. The device's indicator rotates wildly and never points to just one direction. I see, I most likely calibrated the locator incorrectly. My private and I will make adjustments and try again. An update. Disappointingly, everything is correctly calibrated. It saddens me to post this, my friends, but I believe this locator cannot detect the eye signal. We would need to build a more sensitive device if we want to locate the eye of the universe. Then we will build it. Don't lose hope, Kessifer. Our search for the eye is what brought us our clan to this planet. We won't give up so easily. This is a curious result. It's possible that I has stopped calling out its signal. Okay. I've got to get back to the boat, no? Oh! Trees! Oh! Okay, nice. Oxygen's really hard to die from. Okay, I just need to find a tree and then it fills back up. I've seen this ruin in other travellers' pictures, but seeing it for myself? It's really old, isn't it? This is the coolest day of my life. Time for some official notes. Called it a boat again. <laughs> Did I? <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing that. I haven't played any game with boats in. So I kind of know my locator. It can point out the different planets, which is incredibly cool, by the way. But from what little I can understand of the writing here, I think it was built to try and find something specific. 
I'm not sure. I was also able to translate something about the South Pole of Brittle Hollow, so I'll fly there and see if I can learn more. Just gonna get back in the old... I think it's because I'm reading ship, and I'm just thinking boat <laughs> in my head from ship <laughs> rather than spaceship. Mostly safe. Oh, stars above. Oh, no. That's a bit... doesn't sound good. Okay. So what if I use that little marble? I'm guessing that doesn't really affect them what's down at the bottom. But what does the marble do? Obviously it shimmies us about, but... Ooh. Toasty. I'll just take a quick pick. <laughs> Me and Phasmophobia and me in this game are identical in that I just take little pictures of everything. <laughs> I'm, if you give me a camera, I'm going to take a picture of every single moment. Whoops. Okay, so that it's calibrating and lining up to the different planets. I see. But then on this last one, it just goes crazy, right? That's what they were looking for, I guess, the eye. That's what that is. Interesting. And they're looking for it. What do you mean I can zoom in? I can only take pictures. <laughs> oh, why? Oh! Let's see, let's see. So this is eye signal locator. Ryback. Back. Ryback back headed to Brittle Hollow to investigate something in the gnome I were doing at the South Pole. The Nomai device created to pinpoint the source of distant signals. The Nomai were disappointed by their failure to detect a signal from something called the Eye of the Universe. Oh, not that one. Ah, found ya. Guys, I don't know how- I'm, this is my best day of playing. I'll learn. I'll learn things. It's okay. It's all about um, experiencing it yourself, you know? I don't- I don't mind that I don't know exactly what I'm doing. I think that's fine. Oh, oh! Oh wait, I can't land on this, or can I? I'm confused. Oh. Okay, now we're going in. Wait, what? Oh my god! Jesus! Oh! What's this? Oh! It's the goat! It, it, the goat's watching me not know how to fly my plane! <laughs> He's watching me not know what to do! Oh no! So embarrassing. <laughs> oh, wait! Oh yeah, I'm back home. Huh? Did I die? Hello? Did I just die? You still look half asleep. There's a negative on being deceased. I think it's tradition to sleep out under the stars the night before a launch, but ask me if it makes you all a bit jumpy. How did I die? I was on autopilot. <laughs> eh? No, I'm just going to go back out there. Maybe I wasn't supposed to go to that weird planet. Maybe that wasn't the place for me. Okay, let's try and lock onto somewhere. Let's go to the deep place. Oh, God. And it's just going, huh? Wait. Where is it? Giant steep. Ah. Oh, wrong button. <laughs> I don't know what I died of. Is that planet just got like poison? Maybe it was full of ghost farts. And that's what got me. I can imagine that. Maybe. I think it was ghost fart. It, it was ghost fart island. Ghost fart island and I'm not welcome. Because <laughs> I would never do that in my life. I'm 
I'm civilized. Auto plant complete. Landing mode. Bloop. Oh, oh. Am I in the ocean? Oh. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, I don't know if I'm supposed to be in the water. Oh, no. Oh, God, guys. Oh, oh. Oh, 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 give me here, give me here. Ah! Okay, all good. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> Thought that was quite good. Didn't do such a bad job. Civilized? How oh, dare you? How oh, bloody well dare you? Let me out. Oh, oh, it's a bit rainy. Oh, crikey. Oh, my ship's blowing around in the wind. Where am I going? What just happened? A natural. Thank you. I want to be on the... I want to be on the floor. I've got... Oh! Okay. Oh! Oh! Interesting. Is that a goat man? That is, no? What is this? Another one of these walls. <laughs> you. I was off. I was off on one. Oh! A scary wall. <laughs> Give me away. Oh, there's one on the other side too. Am I a good swimmer? Yeah, I am. Get me down there. I want to see what this is, a jellyfish. Oh, I just think I am like can't go down there, maybe, because there's too much. Hold fire jetpack. Oh. Um, I seem to have drifted quite far away. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Let's swim back, shall we? Do you think I'm doing a good job so far? On a scale of... Of s on a scale of um, <laughs> of, um, one to ten, you all need to relax a little bit. Is what I'm gonna say. I'm just having a swim. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I found some door. Where's my man? Up there. I'll tell you where he is. He's up there. Three. I'm having the time of my life. What does this say? Statue workshop. Oh my god, guys, we're going for a workshop. Okay, maybe not. Let me in! Let <laughs> me in! Oh! <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Put that away. Oh, walking out the wall time. I'm just off on an adventure. There's no shame in it. Get me round here. Quick pick. Oh, why did it go red? Scary. It's a little bit spooky. Is it? Oh, it's a little bit scary. Okay. Ooh, swirlies. Tornado. We're going to test the memory statues tonight. Flock says it could be dangerous if you can't come. But what if we didn't use the door and snuck in the other way? Does anyone want to? Me! Flock specifically told us not to do that. I really want to see the test too, Lammy. But that's a huge risk to take. We probably shouldn't. Maybe Flox will tell us later. Uh, <laughs> tornado! <laughs> yeah, nothing more to say about it. Just tornado. How do I get down there? Hmm. 
Interesting. I don't know what I was supposed to do. Give it a little jump. Oh! Oh! Oh. And the gravity's gone. Oh! Oh my god. Bring me back down to earth. Guys, I'm flying away. guys do we think this was successful at least i know that's what happens when you die <gasps> that's the death um animation what do we learn we learn that um that planet has sp spinny things and lots of water on it and i'm not very good at swimming <laughs> i think so far thank you thank you we learn i i don't know how to swim we learnt that there were s sound statues we learnt yep statue workshop that's what i meant statue island this island must be where no my creator statues like the one in our observatory i found no my statue lying on the beach it looks just like the one in our observatory it did i found a sign for a statue workshop next to a broken door that used to lead inside the island some know my children debated bypassing the works from sneaking in by a more dangerous route I've got to find that more dangerous route right put some respect right now I have I don't have much respect for the the place that attempted to drown me multiple times but I do think we have to go back right ah <laughs> is this the same place I landed last time uh ooh different thing up here oh Oh, oh, oh. Well, we landed. <laughs> that's all that matters, okay? I guess that's gotta um, be sorted out. Oh, these are the swirly things from the pictures. <gasps> I'm, I think I'm getting there for sure with the flying. I take that back. Oh, what? It, I, it was a landing. We saw these swirly things in the photo in the um, museum. Welcome to Giant's Deep, friends. I've already been here once. I just... You don't want to know. <laughs> I'm excited to meet for you to meet the statues. If I'm not in my dwelling, I'm likely in my workshop below inside the island. That's where I was earlier. Okay, let's go over here. Oh, was this not where we were? Going to test. This is where I was, no? Okay, but we need to get down there. Oh, I'm stuck. <laughs> I might have gotten stuck. I think the only option might be to jump. Oh, oh I've broken my legs. Oh. Just, just leave me here. <laughs> Oh yeah, I forgot because I walked up the walls. <laughs> there goes your kneecaps. They're long gone. Okay. It's somewhere like under... Oh, it's in this way, isn't it? So this is the doorway. Maybe there's somewhere around the side or maybe I swim. Maybe I can swim in. What do we think about that? Ho oh, oh, ho oh, ho, what's this? Get me in there. Heh <laughs> I'm in. I'm in. Couple of broken legs, but no harm. <laughs> we <laughs> we managed it. Ooh, scary. Goat men. Another mewer. Oh, so. Oh! 
Oh, and the gravity's going. Oh, and everything's purple. What is happening to me? Oh, I was... <laughs> it was sucking me into that. Okay. What has happened? Huh? Did, did, did the purple thing kill me? It just sucked me in there. <laughs> I just got in! No. <laughs> it just, it just slot me up inside. What the heck? Let's go see, if, is that thing still broken on it? Is it at 85% health or is it fixed? Oh, didn't get to check. I got slurped right up. That was not fair. Okay, we're going back though. I've got this now. I've got it. Get me back over there. Oh, am I going a bit? I'm going a bit fast, aren't I? I've got a bit erupt there. Okay, which one was it? It's not that one. It's this one over here. Oh! Whoa! What's this place? Oh, Christ. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's just the ground. I think we're um in a different spot. An identified signal and I were <gasps> we might have found our guy. <gasps> He's over here. Where are you? <gasps> nice, it's you. Good to see you made it here in one piece. The first solo launch is a doozy, isn't it? So hey, don't freak out or anything, but lately I keep like Dying? Repeatedly? I don't know. Pretty weird. What about you? Have you died? No, we're in a time loop. Oh! The time has been behaving unusually lately. Oh, I didn't get to read it. I didn't get to read the end of a sentence. Am I about to die again? Is this... I only had like two minutes before the gravity disappeared. I want to talk to him again. Okay, let me get slammed back down. You chill as hell. <laughs> okay. Have you ever watched a cyclone for so long, it starts to hypnotize you? I'm telling you, they put you in a trance. At the start of every time loop, I keep seeing a bright flash in the sky. Something must be happening up there in orbit around the planet. Have you been to Statue Island? I've been seeing it. It's an island where I found the glowing Nomai statue. Get it? I was on the beach on Statue Island when the whole glowy business happened. By the way, it's a nice beach for that kind of thing. Solid out of 10 on the relaxation scale. If you feel like checking out Statue Island, it's the one with two islands connected by a natural rock arch. Well, mostly connected. You'll see. I've been there already. I found something. Oh, I didn't find anything there. Anything else you can tell me about? What's up with this planet? I know, right? You won't, like, tell me more about it. The giant steep is a massive, mostly water planet. No surprises there. There's a strong current a ways beneath the surface that prevents anything from sinking below it. I tried, oh, see, that's what I was doing earlier. I tried everything I could to get past that current, and neither idea worked. As for land masses, I've counted four islands. There's also been the statue I saw on the beach. You see the cyclones, they're hard to miss. They toss everything in their paths, the islands included. If you get picked up, try to land in water. Less likely to kill you. Where's your ship? That's a good question. It's on this planet somewhere. Unless a cyclone came by and tossed it into space, I guess. That would be pretty nuts. I hope it's not lonely. Okay. Interesting. Can I read anything? No. Let's go walk then. So I only have a certain amount of time to look at everything before I die. So it's not technically always me killing myself. Sometimes it is. Sometimes it definitely is.
Hmm. You're smarter than me. Why? <laughs> I just, there were times where I've died where I was like, I didn't do anything. I swear I didn't do anything. <laughs> Oh, is this not where the ghost farts are, would be? Yeah. There are ghost farts in here. I didn't know about it for ages. <laughs> oh! Whoops. <laughs> My bad. I even told me, and I even told myself there were ghost farts in there, and I still did it. I didn't know about the ghost thing for ages. <laughs> I guess it, um, oh, I see, it's just a tunnel. It's not anything important. But how much time do I have? I guess it just doesn't tell you. It just kills you off every now and then. It's only because I just, <laughs> he says we're in a loop. And then I'm like, oh yeah, what did I die from that other time? Or I was just flying to the planet. I'm not doing anything. Can I climb up this place or not? No, I don't think I can. Shall I try and go to one of the other islands? I've just burnt all my body on, on ghost pee pee. Let's try. Is it this bad boy? Yeah, it is. Eek! Bonk! That was class A flying there. You can't even pretend I wasn't sick of that. <laughs> There's no way I've got enough time though now, right? I'm gonna get under the, the thing and I'm gonna die immediately. Let's go, let's go. Oop, I accidentally went up. Get me in here. Ooh, what was that? Okay, up we go. Up we get. Okay, that's the doorway. That's where we went. Okay, oh, so how quickly can we can we look around this place? <laughs> okay, we're across. Yarrow, would you kindly? Step back so Daz is the closest to the statue when pairing. The statue will choose whoever is in the closest proximity. See how its eyes have opened? That tells us the statue is paired with Daz. Now, no matter where he is in this star system, Daz's statue will record his memories and send them to the Ash Twin project. This is extraordinary sculpting work. He has outdone himself again, hasn't he? And now that we have our first successful pairing, we can test my memory storage prototype. Each statue will send a single Know My Memories to his or her own storage unit within Ash Twin. Each storage unit will be equipped with the mask, the statue's counterpart, which will be able to send those statues back to the corresponding Know My. Okay. Okay. Oh! That scared me. Oh, flip, it's happening, isn't it? Me down to the ground. Keep to the gr keep to the ground. Maybe I won't die. Maybe it won't kill me. What do we think? Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Oh. It's okay. We're safe. We're fine. We're all good. I didn't slam into a wall or anything. Okay. So my memories are getting uplinked to the Google Drive up the protection stone. Insert. See, you landed in water easy. Exactly. I did it. I did it. I've installed the masks inside the Ash Twin Project Flux. They look beautiful, though I do feel as though I'm being observed. It's comforting to know the statues will not pair until the project succeeds, otherwise I imagine the experience would be hard to endure. 
Ideally, they only need to activate once the project succeeds. As a safety measure, however, the statues will also activate in the event of an equipment failure. They will? Why is that? If anything goes wrong with the Ash Twin project, the statues and their masks will make us aware of the situation and enable us to fix it. Otherwise, it would be impossible for us to remain permanently unaware of the problem. I hadn't thought of that. What a profoundly horrific fate that would be. So we're aware of our Groundhog Day. Is there another thing that I can uh, plop in there? There's my little cyclone. Can I pick that one up and plop it in it? Maybe? Ooh. 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 Hello? Two of them. Oh, three of them are glowing. What's that? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think I got the heebie jeebies. <laughs> um. Okay. Three of them were lit up. Interesting. Was there anything else down here? I don't think so, right? Well, what's that up there? Did I see that? I don't think I've seen what that is. I don't know how I can get up there though. There's a swirly up there ready for the reading, but I don't think I can get up there, so I'm gonna go back. Which way was it? This way? Interesting. I feel like this is the longest I've been I've been around. Where's my ship gone? Did I not land it right here? Was my was what? Um, has it sunk into the ocean? Oh, there it goes. <laughs> it's drifted off. Oh no. Oh no. I'm coming. <laughs> I'm coming. Jesus. Let me in. Blimey. Okay. Let's go and land on that island over there. That just flew past us. Where's that over here? Ooh, this... Oh, wait. No, this is the one that the man was chilling on, right? That's his chilling island. This is the tunneling island. And he said there was four, right? Where's the last one? Is there not one more? Or are they counting the one with the bridge on us too? Oh! What's that? Okay. Well, we found it. Ooh! <laughs> Jesus. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, what's this place? Oh, ghost farts. Can we go round? Can I swim over there instead? Yes. Huh? Oh, are they like encased? Take a picture of that. <laughs> what the heck? They're in like a big ice cube or something, right? My boat's... My ship is floating off again. Oh, wait. That's not my ship. Oh, that's his ship. Is that not the man's ship? Should I go into it and see? Let me in. Oh, why, why, I, why can't I go in? No. Oh, I wanted to do a good deed. Can I not go in it? There's no, like, um, oobly tube for me to 
fly up into it, you know? Bank. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, I found his ship. Ooh. Why are we getting this emotional song? What's happening? Mm. Yeah, the oogly tube. <laughs> you know what I mean. Can I climb up the, the thing instead? Oh, it's getting all splashy. Let me up. Why are we at such an angle? This is an oogly tube. <laughs> you see? Oh, I broke the camera. I want to land on this thing. Oh, Christ. Well, I think it worked. <laughs> oh! Um, maybe I shouldn't have done that. I think I might have just doomed myself a little bit. <laughs> okay, I'm dead. It's fine. I died. I, I, I um. I'm grateful for the timing on that, to be honest. I just stuck myself up the top of that thing. <laughs> oh well. It happens, it flappens. I feel like we got a lot of learning done there. I understood some new things. Oh, and a big huff. Interesting. Let's just quickly look at what new rumours we've learned, and then I think maybe we'll we'll pause here. I feel like that was a good. Um, we met the man. We've learned we're in a time loop. Let me look at my little rumours. Ooh, orbital flash, ocean depths. Oh my god, we learned so much. The Ash Twin thing, yeah. So what did we get? This was. Every memory recorded by the Nomai statue is transmitted to a corresponding storage unit within the Ash Twin. Yep. This. Gabbro sees a bright flash in the sky at the start of every loop. Something must be happening in orbit around Giant's Deep. Gabbro says there's a strong current beneath the surface that prevents anything from sinking below it. Yeah. But I think that's a good place to pause at least. Um, we learnt a lot. And I flew around a lot. I'm much better at the at flying than I was. <laughs> I've improved for sure. So I give myself a pat on the back for that, I think. 